Hello everybody, it's me Jones on J here. Flight Radar 24 is a pretty cool website that allows you to track almost any aircraft anywhere in the world. Whether you're an aviation geek or simply someone who is interested in aviation, Flight Radar 24 is a great site to play around on. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of using Flight Radar 24 so you can get familiar with it and track almost any aircraft in the world. First, let's talk about how it works. Websites like Flight Radar 24 use technology called Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, or ADS-B. This technology can be best explained by the following image. The aircraft gets its location from a GPS satellite, the ADS-B transponder on the aircraft transmits the signal containing the location, registration number, and much more. The ADS-B signal is then picked up by a receiver, which then feeds the data to Flight Radar 24 where it can be shown on the application. In addition to ADS-B, Flight Radar 24 also gets its data from Multilateration, or MLAT, and other satellite-based services. So once you open up Flight Radar 24, you'll see something like this, a map of the world with thousands of aircraft icons all over the place. As I'm sure you'd expect, each of those icons represents a specific aircraft. If you look closely though, Flight Radar 24 uses specific icons for each type of aircraft. For instance, on quadjet commercial aircraft like the Boeing 747 or Airbus A380, Flight Radar 24 shows a plane icon with four engines. You also will notice smaller aircraft icons for narrowbody jets, long and skinny icons for Boeing 757s which are long narrowbody aircraft, and private jet icons for private jets, etc. So I think the attention to detail that Flight Radar 24 uses is pretty cool. You also will notice that some aircraft are colored yellow while others are colored blue. Aircraft colored yellow are tracked by the ADS-B technology that I talked about earlier, while aircraft colored blue are being tracked by other satellite services. Now just like any map, you can zoom in and out and pan around to look at different areas in the world. And when moving your cursor on top of each aircraft icon, Flight Radar 24 shows you that aircraft's call sign. You can then click or tap on an aircraft to get its information. A small page will then pop up. At the top, it tells you the aircraft's call sign and flight number with the airline below. It then shows you a picture of the exact plane with the most recent photo from jetphotos.com, and below that, you'll see the aircraft's origin and destination, along with its scheduled and predicted departure and arrival. You can also scroll down to get more info about the aircraft, including the type, registration, age, calibrated altitude, track, ground speed, recent flights, and much, much more. Keep in mind though that some of the information does require a subscription to the website, but you do get quite a bit of the information for free, which is really nice. Now let's talk about searching for aircraft. Now obviously you could simply pan and zoom on the map and keep clicking on aircraft, but if there's a specific aircraft that you are looking for, that could take quite a bit of time. Thankfully, Flight Radar 24 provides plenty of tools to make that easier. First is the search bar, located near the top right. When searching for aircraft, you can either search for its registration number, call sign, or flight number. Now I would assume that you would most likely either know the registration number or flight number. The registration number of an aircraft is usually found towards the back of the fuselage near the tail. The flight number can either be found when you book a flight on the airline's website or on a third-party flight search site like Google Flights or Skyscanner. When you search for an aircraft, if it is currently flying, Flight Radar 24 will automatically zoom in on the aircraft on the map and show you its details. If it's not currently flying, then it'll show you the most up-to-date schedule of that aircraft, including previous flights and future flights. Another tool that Flight Radar 24 provides are filters. At the bottom of the screen, you will notice a button titled Filters. Click or tap on it and a menu will pop up giving you a couple of filters. In this menu, there are really only two filters that I find very useful. The first filter, titled Call Sign Airlines, filters the map to only show the location of a specific airline's planes. To use this filter, you have to type the three letters of the call sign for that airline. For example, typing DLH will show you the location of all of Lufthansa's planes, UAL will show you the location of all of United Airlines' planes, and BAW will show you the location of all of British Airways' planes. You can find the call sign of an airline by simply googling it if you don't know what it is. And the second filter that I find helpful is the aircraft type ICAO filter. This allows you to only show a specific aircraft type on the map. For instance, if I only want to see Boeing 747s on the map, or only A380s on the map, etc. To use this filter, you have to type the ICAO code for the aircraft type. For example, B744 will show you all Boeing 747-400 planes. A321 will show you all Airbus A321 planes, etc. 
Again, if you don't know the ICAO code of an aircraft type, you can simply find it by googling it. So that is a very brief glimpse at just some of the many ways you can use Flight Radar 24 to track aircraft. But before I end the video, I'd like to show you a couple of cool extra features that the website has. So by default, Flight Radar 24 shows a map that highlights terrain. But let's say I want to see another type of map, like a satellite map. Well, I can click right here on settings and it gives me 9 options for different types of maps. You can also change the brightness and toggle the day and night line on the map, which shows you where it is currently daytime and nighttime. In addition, if you pay for a subscription on the website, you can also show live weather on the map and how it might impact flights in a specific area. And finally, you'll notice this menu to the left on the home page when you aren't looking at any submenus. This menu shows all sorts of live statistics about the website, including the current top 5 most tracked flights, the total number of aircraft being tracked, and much much more. There are plenty of more features to play around with, including free ones and some that require a subscription, but I'll leave those for you to find and learn how to use when you are playing around on the website. In conclusion, Flight Radar 24 is a great website for anyone interested in aviation. You can not only use it to track almost any aircraft in the world, but you can also use it to learn more about aviation. Be sure to let me know what you think of Flight Radar 24 down in the comments below. Have you used it before? And if so, what is your favorite feature? Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.